Hey guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms out here at Take Aim Training and Range. And guys, I am super excited about today's video and the timing couldn't have been any more perfect. Let me tell you why, all right? I'm shaved, I'm still in the Marine Reserves and I just got done doing rifle qualification with this exact optic that you see right here, the Trigicon ACOG. All right, not the exact same one, mine that I trained with and qualified with is still in the armory at my reserve unit. However, we just came across a lot of a, sur of a bunch of surplus Trigicon ACOGs and guys, I am thrilled to show you what's in this tub right here. Check this out. Just look at all of that fiber optic and tritium beauty that you see right there, guys. Yes, we have layers on top of layers of Trigicon ACOGs. And yes, when we came across these, I did call Trigicon and I verified a few of these serial numbers, just kind of spot checked them, and they are good to go. Date ranges on these are anywhere between 2008 to 2012. And I personally checked every last one of these. The tritium on them are still bright. Uh, the nitrogen filling on these are still present so they won't fog up on you and all but let's go ahead and let's just grab a few so i can show you guys what kind of conditions we have and we have multiple conditions we've got grade c which is what you're seeing here i'll put it in the sunlight there so you can see it a little bit clear you'll notice that the body and the housing on these are a little beat up these are our lowest grades we've also got a grade b and a grade a which i'll show you here in just a moment but me as a Marine have come to really get acquainted with the Trigicon ACOG or the RCO. ACOG standing for Advanced Combat Optic Gun Sight. And this thing here is just nice guys. When I first uh, joined the Marines, I did actually qualify on iron sights. And since then it has progressed into the RCO or the Rifle Combat Optic, which is what you see right here. And it has a four power magnification on it, 32 objective lens. And overall guys, I am, it, it grew on me. At first I wasn't a big fan. Uh, I'll be honest with you. And of course this is in the Marine, so any type of change we just naturally dislike. And uh, when we got these, I was like, what do we need these for? Iron sights are great, I do well on them. What Whatever, blah 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 and uh, well then all of a sudden we went to the 500 yard line and I was like this makes life easy this is cheating pretty much if you don't qualify with at least expert what are you doing sorry for all of you guys that didn't qualify expert last drill sorry anyway guys these things are cool so Trigicon made these to be probably the most rugged and durable optics available and now we've come into a a decent size lot. I'm not going to say a big size, but a decent size lot of these optics. And now we're offering them to you guys at a phenomenal price. Brand new. These things are pricey. All right. And yeah, of course you're not getting a brand new optic. This is surplus. Okay. However, like I said, I've checked the lenses on all of these. I have checked the tritium on all of them. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that to show up all that well. It might just look like a red blog, blop, blog, blob, whatever I'm trying to say. Uh, but ultimately these things are still very bright so much br so so bright that the one that I have on my Colt here uh, You'll see a lot of guys use some electrical tape to cover up some of the tritium because it actually gets too bright And you don't get as precise a sight picture or chevron these do have all of these have the chevron reticle on them at a hundred yards You want to use the tip of the chevron at 200 yards. Yes, I'm gonna say this word You're gonna want to use the crotch. So if you've got this here 200 yards you're aiming about right here 300 yards yards you're aiming at the top of the post and then it has also your bullet drop compensation on it all the way down with increments between four five six and eight hundred yards pretty cool stuff and i can tell you right now these things hold zero immaculately well and they shoot great but let me go ahead and just show you a couple more here pretty neat things all of the ones that i have checked by the way do have the uh the uh the, the thumb screw type that tighten down onto the rail system all right and a lot of these as well again these are 2008 to 2012 so what you'll notice is prior to 2010 and that year on the right hand side of the optic it'll read ACOG 4x32 JN812 now what that means is John 
8.12. And the Bible verse goes along the lines of, uh, Jesus said, I am the light, and whoever follows me will not be followed in darkness, uh, something along those lines. And uh, yes, it does actually have a Bible verse inscribed on the optic, which I think personally is pretty cool. However, in 2010, there was a big old controversial debate and due to political correctness reasoning, uh, after 2010, none of the RCOs were manufactured with the verse on it anymore. Or the ones that were currently still in service, uh, a lot of them got a Dremel taken to it and the Bible verse removed even. I don't know if that's gonna show up all that well for you. So some of them look like they were professionally done. Others look like, uh, maybe a Marine or a soldier who was really upset with the fact that they are doing this didn't make it look as clean of a job. And maybe we can find a few of those here, but if, let me show you a few more of these grade C's here, <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about that you can see right there where it looks like somebody may have just taken a chisel and just <laughs> knocked it out. Uh, not so sure. But anyway, really cool optics, guys. Let's just go ahead and show off quite a few of these so you guys can kind of see as to what to expect with these guys here. All right, this one still has the verse on it. So we're not gonna guarantee that the verse is still there because like I said, some of these are even later and they simply just were manufactured without the verse. All right, but like I said too, all of these still have good reticles on them. I did notice a couple of them where the reticle was either damaged or a lot of the time the right hand tip of the chevron actually starts to fade. Uh, those ones we did not accept and we didn't get any of those. So all the ones that you see right here still have a great sight picture. Most clear glass some of them might be a little bit more cloudy than others but like this one is almost pristine like it's it's pretty incredible at the condition that we got these in uh, the body the housing sure might be a little beat up scratched whatever but as far as how the actual reticle looks how the tritium is showing up guys it is phenomenal and like I said the price on these I I, I, I may have screamed a little bit when I saw what we had here. So very excited. All right, I think you guys have seen enough of kind of what the grade threes or grade Cs look like. Let's go ahead and take a look at the B grades, which is exactly what I've got in this ammo container here. And so these ones are going to be a little bit nicer. Uh, again, the glass on these and the reticles and everything are still gonna be showing up just as clear, if not clear. Uh, however, it's mostly just the body and the housing that we're looking at. All right, and this one looks like a later one to me. It's got a 19,000 uh, serial number on it, but this one does have the verse dribbled out of it. So this may have been a late 2009 production somewhere in there. All right, but still all in all, just looking very good. It still just impresses me at how well these pick up. All right. And uh, speaking of Trigicon, like the optic on this guy right here. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Anyway, here's another grade B for you guys. All right. Very good looking stuff, man. And notice too, the fiber optic right running through here. A lot of these are super clean, which is very nice. Very nice. And we do have a small quantity of the grade A's and grade B's that you'll see here. We have a majority quantity of the grade threes. So if you're wanting a higher grade on these guys, make sure you select that custom option for it and do so quickly. Cause I have a feeling these are gonna go fast. All right, very nice. And again, just an overall rugged design on these guys. It's pretty incredible that Trigicon made these so durable and so tough. They do have a complete waterproof housing. Again, dry nitrogen filled optic as well. So. When you breathe on them, they they won't fog up, which is a super cool thing about it. Very cool is the fact that they just simply won't fog up on you. They are completely submersible. <laughs> you don't have to worry about damaging it in that aspect, which is very cool. All right, and Trigicon takes care of their products as well. So that's also a really neat thing. Here we go. Let's see, this one's 19,000s serial number as well. I think you guys get the idea of how the grade Bs look. And a lot of the basing off of this too, as far as the grading goes, is mostly on the ears that are protecting the fiber optic up here. Uh, if there's any discoloration or any wear on those ears, uh, they were graded as a B grade. What I'm about to show you next are the a grades. First, here's one of them on a FN Military Collector M4. This does have a 14 and a half inch pendant weld barrel on it. And this is pretty much an exact representation of what I'm issued, what I have the option to have in the Marines, which is 
pretty sweet. I mean, down to everything. Actually, ours that were issued don't have the ambi safety. So, <laughs> pretty funny, right? But anyways, I wanted to show that on there because this entire setup that you see right here is identical to what I am issued currently. So pretty cool that we have that. All right, set that down over here. And let's take a look at the grade A's. And when I say we have a small quantity, this is it, what I'm about to show you here. Let me turn this around to open it towards you guys. There they are. Now these ones here, um, short of saying like new, I don't know what more to tell you guys. Uh, they might have some cosmetic, cosmetic wear, excuse me. However, notice the ears right up here protecting that really clear fiber optic uh, look unscathed and pretty much untouched, which is very nice. Again, these things are just sweet. And these ones too still have, not all of them, but still have the Bible verse, John 8, 12, on the right-hand side of the optic as well. Very cool. Like I said, these all have the Chevron reticle all the way with the bullet drop compensation all the way out to 800 yards, which is pretty nice. And what's a neat thing about these guys too is the fact that they're designed, uh, well, in my mind, just about every optic's designed to shoot with both eyes open. Well, Trigicon designed these specifically to be shot with both eyes open. Uh, so that way, it's kind of hard to explain, but whenever you see the reticle, or you see your target, even with both eyes open, allows you to get that quick target acquisition uh, quite simply, quickly, <laughs> which is pretty cool. All right, show that one off again. And again, the lenses on these are just super clear. The grade, the grade A's are by fine and by, by definitely most far the best looking ones. And this right here just looks like high definition. It's until you actually look through one, you really can't tell, right? But man, these things are sweet. Oh yeah. Very cool stuff. All right, so I've got a couple of mags loaded up here because I actually want to shoot through it here. Uh, this right here is my Colt M4 AR-15, Daniel Defense Rail, all that stuff. And I threw one of these ACOGs on here because I figured it just fits the part so well. And uh, I got a round in here, so let's just shoot it really quick. Kind of want to see how quick I can pick up that target because a lot of the times when I'm running, you know, my first, when I first got issued one of these, what I didn't like about it was the eye relief. The eye relief they say is anywhere between two to four inches. I think it's a little bit shorter than that. Uh, so for me, you guys be the judge here, to get the perfect sight picture without any scope shadow, I'm about right here. No scope shadow, no anything like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot, just like that there. Nice. Very minimal recoil on the uh, AR platform, by the way. It's awesome. So that feels very good to me. Now, uh, that was one thing I didn't really care for was that small, you know, sight, uh, that sight eye relief is what I'm trying to say, because when I wanted to go for quicker shots, I felt like I was having to, you know, kind of search for it, find that right definition or that right, right length. Uh, as I've trained with it more though, I found it to actually be pretty simple to go ahead and start acquiring your sight picture, your target, and get round sent down range. So, hey, I'm, uh, I'm a fan, all right? Let's go ahead, let's shoot off a couple more rounds here, just right there, perfect. Sorry, Mr. Hand Select. Nice, just a couple little hammer pair. Yeah, and I think I got mine zeroed pretty well too. Uh, these are zeroed, so for instance, uh, they are made for M855 62 grain green tip, right? Uh, for a 20 inch gun. However, they will hold the similar zero on the 14 and a half inch barrel and also anything in between. You just kind of have to play with it, find that exact increment for you whenever you're shooting. With that being said, let's just go ahead and finish out this mag. I only put 10 in here, I think. That's it. So very cool stuff, guys. Again, the rifle combat optic. You'll also notice I have the kill flash on here. I uh, <laughs> had one of these laying around. So figured I'd throw that on there too, just to show you guys what kind of accessories are out there for them. And of course, too, they make the QD accessories. They make the extended eye relief accessories, all sorts of different aftermarket parts that you can throw on these guys and make it really whatever you want for whatever type of setup you want. And if you're like me and you like your clone builds, well, having a surplus ACOG just seems like the ideal way to go. Like I said, on this M4 here, the FN, this is, 
Uh, this is it. <laughs> Pretty much this is it. Let me go ahead and grab one of these grade A's and let's compare it to a grade C really quick just so you guys can see the differences between the two. I'll reach in here and just grab another one just for fun. Let's see, so for instance this one here, the body on this one really doesn't look bad to me at all. You'll notice some wear on it, things like that. A little bit lighter coloration as it's probably been more exposed to the sun. A little bit dirtier, not as clear fiber optic here. You'll see it looks like it might be damaged there, but I think that's just how that tube here that protects the fiber optic is shaped or may have been nicked there. But like I said, I've checked all of these and that still has a super bright reticle on it and it shows up crisp and it shows up all the way. Like I said, any of the ones that had a damaged reticle, damaged tritium, damaged fiber optic, uh, we did not accept. So all of these that you will get will be working and should hold zero and be just fine, all right? So here they are side by side, grade A, grade C, or grade one, grade three, whatever you guys wanna consider it. Yeah, these things are sweet, guys. Very cool optics. And if you are just looking for a rugged combat ready optic, guys, this is where it's at for sure. So make sure you check out these Trigicon ACOGs. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Like I said, date ranges are the, on these are between 2008 to 2012. Remember that the Bible verse on these pretty much went away after 2010. So we're not gonna guarantee that the Bible verse is on there. Again, some arsenals, some armories may have actually been, been ordered to remove the Bible verse. And some of them were done professionally and some of them Maybe not so much, but I don't think that's gonna mess with the actual quality of the optic and it still being able to hold zero or give you a clear sight picture. Cause like I said, I've checked all of these and they work great. So very, again, very excited to have these in house. Don't miss out to own really a great optic for a great price. And like I said, if you just practice with it, train with it some, you'll realize that it does have a little bit shorter eye relief than what might be comfortable for you. However, practice makes perfect, right? You start getting those drills going and I found out really quick that, yep, it's not my EOTech, that's for sure. You know, it doesn't have an unlimited eye relief, but right here, boom, I'm right on target. I can see it and I feel good about engaging whatever it might be. So pretty sweet stuff, guys. So don't miss out on this and let's move that a little bit further down the bench here and let's talk about another Trigicon optic that's sitting on one heck of a sweet rifle here. What you see right there, guys, that, this, is the Nemo 300 Win Mag semi-auto AR style rifle. And boy, oh boy, the Omen is freaking sweet. But what's even more sweet is we went ahead, threw on this worn uh, bipod on it as well, which is a nice heavy duty bipod. It does have the proof research carbon fiber wrapped barrel on it. The Trigicon 10 mile scope. This thing is one heck of a sweet setup guys. Zeiss rings on it, Magpul PRS stock, but we're also collaborating with Donut Operator and Premier Body Armor. And we are giving away all sorts of goodies thrown up in this. So of course, to find out more, head to our website, classicfirearms.com, hit that top banner. You should see a beautiful photo of this rifle hit that top banner it's going to take you to a link that shows you or to our web page that shows all these different links to get your entries in this is where it's at guys you're looking for one heck of a sweet setup this is where it's at with donut operator sign skateboard uh, premier body armor giving away yep you guessed it body armor and one of their e eagle vests all sorts of goodies guys this is probably one of the nicest giveaways yet. And all the people involved just make it that much sweeter. So don't miss out guys. Again, check out all these ACOGs we got. Beautiful, beautiful optics, beautiful rifle with also a beautiful Trigicon ACOG. Anything you guys need, we got at classicfirearms.com. God bless you all and we'll see you soon.